live out of Gotham News, where we have word on another questionable death. Police suspect it is connected with a series of murders by who they are calling the scalp. The victim the murder spree continues as the GCPD spearhead the search for what they are calling the murder spree. The Scalpel, it's over. Oh, it's you. I don't believe we've met. Dr. Elizabeth Klemper. But you can call me Liz. If you're here about the bodies, you're too late, I'm afraid. They're all dead. It's been a most successful evening. Fifteen warm bodies in all. I uh, surgically removed them, if you will. Then, you admit it? Oh, yes. To you, I'll admit everything. Units up at the nursing home checking things out. Is this this uh, is the one? She's confessed to everything already. Uh, you represent the police, I presume. That's right. And you? I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. I come out for a stroll, and this masked maniac accosts me for no reason whatsoever. Jim, there's at least a dozen dead up here. Cut to ribbons. Never seen anything like it. It's Jim. We have a suspect. Lieutenant Gordon, is it? That's right, Dr. Clamper. Ah, you know me. I'm glad. Allow me to explain. This vast marauder... You were saying? Detective, read her, her rights, and then, uh, take her downtown. Book her on suspicion of murder. Uh, Lieutenant, this is outrageous. I'll sue the city for false accusations. Shut your pretty no, mouth, No, get your hands off of me. Oh, you got the right to remain silent. Actually, Dr. Klemper's coming with us. Strife, Collins, before you come any closer, Klemper's ours. Not anymore, Bullock. We've got orders to take her to Woke. And it looks as though Batman's already arranged her in, sorry, Bullock, but I think we're gonna have to take custody. Now. I don't see any bat rope on her. You didn't hit her, did you, Bullock? Looks like she might have been bashed around a bit. I don't know. We all know how Bullock likes to follow old school procedures now, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go down this maze again. Good man died because of one of your former partner's escapades. Hey, Glenn Colley was a friend of mine. I don't appreciate your remarks, Jim. Yeah, it must be hard running a neighborhood watch with Jane Kalesa behind. All right, tonight, people, I've got a lot on my plate. Yeah, I bet you do. Thank you so much, detectives. These officers of the law assaulted me. I'll be filing excessive force charges. Don't mention it, Doc. Let's take you downtown. Ladies. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, 
Let me make a few calls. Harvey. I think we should finish talking about Grace. She won't even talk about it. It's like this quiet anger is just building and building this boiling pot of frustration. How so? Like we're in bed, sleeping together. It's worse on holidays. And there's only even been one holiday since I've been out. Father's Day. How about that? When was the last time you two had sex? Sorry? When was the last time you two had sex? Sorry, I'll, I'll shut her off. I'm sorry, talk about it, go. Evening, Jim. Picked a bad time to pull one of your vanishing acts the other night. Jervis Ditch is now back in Arkham. More Eden Spring dealers are off the streets. Plumper's in Loeb's hands now. She's filing excessive force charges against my squad. Dent won't let those stick. That's not the point. When I think back, the way those bodies were laid out, it was like an anatomy textbook. They were eviscerated. If any woman deserved to die, I sometimes wonder if it'd be just easier if I pulled the trigger. It's not my way, and you know that. There's a straitjacket in Arkham Asylum with her name on it. I'm trusting Dent and you to take care of that. In the meantime, Jim, I meant to tell you, I won't be around for a while. But I'll make sure Gotham's looked after. By who? The boy wonder? He's coming with me. My protege. Nightwing will be in charge. Any idea how long you might be gone? Thanks for the notice. We're not going to talk about last night. There's nothing to talk about. It's really all right, Harvey. I mean, with all your medications, things just happen. Thanks for your understanding. So I was thinking we could have dinner with Jim and Pam next week. Who's that? Jim and Pam, the nice couple from across the street. Oh, right, okay. Sure. Did all I could, Jim. Did all I could do. But it wasn't enough, darling. How'd you get in here? After the jury found me not guilty, of course. When the crowd out there got out of control, I just slipped away for a second. I'm good at that. Care for Harvey? You had your chance. It would be a shame to see your kind assault charges now. We both know the public hates a sore loser. Tell me something, Doctor. How do you do it? I, with my trusty little scalpel, of course. That's not what I mean. How could you disassociate yourself from everything? Under testimony, a polygraph test. If you'd have slipped just one bit, the jury would have locked you away for life. But you didn't crack. Not at all. Oh, darling. It's a secret of mine. But I like you, Harvey. Somehow you remind me of me. So I'll let you in on my secret. But I'll deny it outside of this room. Of course you know that. There are two of me. One, 
is Dr. Klemper. And then there is me. We had an understanding, the doctor and I. We'd remain distinct and separate. Her keeping up appearances. Liz coming out to have a dirty fun whenever the opportunity arose. But when we were caught by Batman or whatever his name is, we both knew that Liz would have to go away. So that guiltless, indignant Dr. Klemper could take a witness stand and frustrate all of Gotham with her innocence. It's so easy, Harvey. Even you can do it. And you want to. You need to. I could see that the first time we met. There's something inside you, Harvey. Something that can't reconcile itself with the person you want to be. Let it go. Give it free reign. But only at the proper time and at the proper place. Trust me, Harvey. I'm a doctor. All you need to remember is one simple rule, Sunshine. Never this business. With pleasure. some company? Shouldn't you be home doing your homework, little girl? You are my homework, Mr. Dent. Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? Who are you? Answer, who are you? Hey, Dent. What? Go back to sleep. <clears throat> Harvey. What? Get out. No, I'm not gonna get out. You have to tell me what happened. I'm fine. I just dropped. Harvey. Go back to bed. I'm not gonna go back to bed. You have to tell me what happened. I'll be fine. I just need my pills, okay? You are not fine. You come home at 3 o'clock in the morning and tell me that everything's fine. I'll be fine. Just go away. Look, I love you. Get out of here. You go back to bed. Go no, now. No, I'm not letting you do this to me again. No. <laughs> 
Grace. Grace, stop it! <laughs> 